Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Chua, Senior Consultant Vascular Surgeon and Medical Director of the Vascular Interventional Center. I hope you find the video presentations we've made for you useful and educational. Please enjoy. Deep vein thrombosis. Causes, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. What is it? This is a condition in which blood clots form spontaneously in the deep veins of the lower or upper limbs. Most cases of DVT are fortunately not life-threatening and can be treated with medication. However, patients with DVT extending above knee or upper arm towards the heart may be in greater danger as the clots in the DVT can break off in pieces and travel into the heart and lungs, embolize, resulting in a serious condition known as pulmonary embolism, PE. This condition is life-threatening as it prevents oxygen transfer to the venous blood and is associated with significant mortality. Risk factors Risk factors for DVT include Long periods of immobility After major surgery involving the limbs Pelvis or abdomen, obesity, dehydration and major trauma to the limbs You may have read about the economy class syndrome in which patients develop DVT of the legs after a long-haul flight This results from a combination of immobility during the flight, sitting in cramped positions, and dehydration in a pressurized plane cabin. Symptoms of DVT Patients with DVT can present with a swollen and tender limb. In the legs, it may start in the calf and then extend towards the thigh and groin. In the upper limbs, it can start in the forearm and extend upwards. Patients can also present with a fast heartbeat, tachycardia and shortness of breath, either in isolation or related to the limb swelling. Treatment of DVT All patients with DVT must be stated on blood thinning medication, anticoagulation. The objective of the anticoagulation is to prevent more new blood clots from forming. The body usually helps in dissolving the existing vein blood clots over time, sometime up to six months. As such, all patients should be on the anticoagulation medication for up to six months. If the DVT is extensive, it is sometimes necessary to use a combination of mechanical devices and special drugs to dissolve the clots. This process, known as thrombolysis, is usually done if the DVT is less than two weeks old and can be done via small groin vein punctures. Other adjunctive procedures to prevent clots that have broken off from reaching the lung veins include the insertion of metallic filters in the inferior vena cava, the largest vein in the abdomen draining the legs, to trap loose clots. For more information about deep vein thrombosis, visit www.sgvascularctr.com.